Hi, welcome to Rio's Kitchen. Today we will be preparing a chicken dish, chicken korma. For that, I have taken uh, 600 grams of chicken with bone, and here is uh, three medium sized onions sliced, and here is uh, six tablespoons of uh, curd, is ginger garlic paste, one to two tablespoons paste of one small onion. Here is uh, I have pasted one tablespoon cumin seeds and three green chili. Here are some cashews and here is ghee we will be needing and in whole spices we will be needing bay leaf, two to three broken cinnamon stick, two to three cloves, uh, four to five uh, black pepper, one star anise, one um, uh, little bit of mace or javitri crushed roughly and three to four green cardamom. Ground spices we will be needing uh, Turmeric powder, one, te one teaspoon. Here is a jeera powder or cumin powder, half teaspoon. Salt as required. Coriander powder, half teaspoon. Garam masala powder, and red chili powder, and black pepper powder. And here we will be needing few drops of rose water. It is completely optional. So let's proceed to the cooking process. Okay, so here I have heated a pan or kadhai and now we will be adding the ghee let us allow it to melt and get hot right now our ghee is hot and we will add the onion, sliced onion. We need to fry them till golden brown and we need to add the cashews also here. Okay, so let's fried okay now our onions and cashews have been fried nicely and we will now transfer it to a plate we, and then we will allow it to cool down completely because we need to paste this uh, we will uh, uh, roughly paste we will paste it roughly because we don't need to have a smooth paste of it Okay, so now while our fried onions and cashews are getting cooled down, let's proceed to the other process and here I have heated some more ghee, 2-3 to three tablespoons and then we will add the uh, ginger garlic paste here and we will saute it. We need to cook the, the spices in a medium flame. And let me tell you, to cool the, to faster the process of cooling down of the fried onions, I have kept it in the refrigerator. Alright, we will add the whole spices also here. You can add it before adding the uh, ginger garlic paste also. Sure enough. And we will keep the javitri or maize for later. Mix everything. Saute. All right. Now add the onion paste. We need to saute it nicely till oil starts to separate. We can also add the green chili and cumin paste here so that it will get sorted all together. Ok 
okay now our mix has been well sorted and now it's time to add the curd remember before adding the curd we need to lower the flame and then we will add the curd okay and also it's time to add the ground spices also the turmeric powder black pepper powder red chili powder we will leave the garam masala powder for later and cumin powder also salt and cumin powder uh, coriander powder sorry all right let's mix everything together Now it's not looking nice, but after five to seven minutes, when it will start to separate oil from it, it will look awesome. Okay, now our onion got cooled, and we will transfer it to a mixer grinder jar, and we will grind it. Don't add any amount of water, and grind it just coarsely. With as I told, we don't need a smooth paste. Okay, so let's. grind it okay so here is our onion and cashew paste and let's see what about the curd mix yeah looking lovely it has started to separate oil but let's cook it for one or two minutes more for better taste okay so after one two minutes we will add the paste of onion cashew here and we will mix it okay so the gravy is now much more thick and we need to saute it to get well cooked and oil starts to separate from them for a fast cooking process we will now cover the lid or cover the pan with a lid Okay. Let's wait for four to five minutes. Okay, so after four to five minutes, we will now uncover the lid and see the, it's looking really lovely, isn't it? And I have stirred it in between several times. You also do that, otherwise it will the masala may get stuck at the bottom. Okay, now it's time to add the chicken. mix it very very well and after mixing we will need we need to cook the chicken for at least half an hour or till the oil get separated from the chicken we don't need to add any extra water since chicken itself contains many much water in it and it will leave water okay so cover the lid again and cook for about half an hour or till the oil separates as i have said and don't forget to stir in some uh, several intervals okay okay it's been about 20 minutes the chicken is uh, almost uh, 70% cooked and now we will add one teaspoon of rose water here that's all and let's mix it okay we will again cover it and we will cook okay as we can see the chicken is almost done and now we will add the garam masala powder and the crushed javitri or mace Okay. We will mix the garam masala and mix with the chicken. Okay. 
and in low flame we will cover it and cook it till two more minutes okay now we can see our chicken is fully done looking awesome we will switch off the flame and we will serve it in a plate but first let's give it a mix oh still boiling all right now let's serve Isn't it looking awesome? Okay, so our chicken korma is done now and uh, serve hot with either pulao or roti or the naan or anything you like and it will taste awesome and as I've said it's not at all hard to cook. Do try it in your home and if you like the video do hit the like button, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and till then Bye.